I am reading a poem by George Moses Horton titled On Liberty and Slavery. I'm reading this poem because I am working on a project on the Exodus and I found Horton's work particularly useful, interesting to me because he worked and toiled and struggled against the ills of slavery and he wrote on the hope of liberty and he passed away in 1883-84 just at a time when official colonialism started in Africa and I grew up in Cameroon uh, reading about colonialism and so there is an interesting intersection here that I find between the work of Horton, the struggles for liberty, the experiences of colonialism and slavery, and the Exodus story that I am working on. Alas, and am I born for this, to wear this slavish chain, deprived of all created bliss, through hardship, toil, and pain? How long have I in bondage lain, and language to be free. Alas, and must I still complain, deprived of liberty? O oh, heaven, and is there no relief, this side of the silent grave, to soothe the pain, to quell the grief, and anguish of a slave? Come, liberty, thou cheerful sound. Roll through my ravished ears. Come, let my grief in joy be drowned and drive away my fears. Say unto foul oppression, cease, yes, tyrants rage no more, and let the joyful trump of peace now beat the vassal soar. Soar on the pinions of that dove which long has cooed for thee, and breathed her notes from Africa's grove, the sound of liberty. O oh, liberty, thou golden prize, so often sought by blood. We crave thy sacred sun to rise, the gift of nature's God. Bid slavery hide her haggard face, and barbarism fly. I scorn to see the sad disgrace in which enslaved I lie. Dear liberty, upon thy breast I languish to respire and like the swan unto her nest, I'd like to thy smiles retire. O oh, blessed asylum, heavenly balm, unto thy bows I flee, and in thy shades the storm shall calm with songs of liberty.